The judge, why don't we? Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano, would say, well, it could have prevented 9-11. You know, I, I suppose under this logic, they could just give us all minders, and then nothing bad would ever happen. Under this logic, they can cut as many holes in the Constitution as they want and argue that if we had been able to do that uh, uh, 12, 13 years ago, it would have prevented 9-11. I'm disappointed in FBI Director Mueller. In his final testimony before Congress, he's still singing the tune that constitutional liberties can be subordinated to the, governor, the government's need to fight and ban people. And he's making an argument which, which is inconsistent with the history of the FBI. The, the FBI, more than any other law enforcement entity in the history of the United States, has shown deference and respect to the Constitution. He's basically saying they can't. They need to cut the holes in order to get uh, in order to get the bad guys, and they don't. It's absolutely unnecessary, as Congressman Dingell argued, for the FBI to get the phone numbers of everybody that works for for Verizon in order to find out who's calling from San Diego to Yemen. They could have gotten the incoming call in Yemen, and from that they would have known who was making the call, and then they could have gotten a warrant on that house in San Diego. To, to, so to suggest that they can forget about the Fourth Amendment. Uh, theoretically break down any door they want, theoretically arrest anybody they want, would give us an America that nobody would want to live in. And yet we hear from all corners of the government, I mean, the White House defends this, that everybody's defending this, as if maybe they never read the Fourth Amendment. I mean, I, I, I don't understand it. Well, Congressman Dingell, it's funny because I don't usually agree with Congressman Dingell, but he made some really great points today. The, the statute in the Patriot Act that permits them to get all these phone records requires them to tell the judge whom they asked to sign the order that the phone records are relevant to a, an ongoing investigation. How could they claim that 113 million phone records are relevant to an investigation unless they claim that all 113 million people are involved in some kind of a conspiracy, which is obviously not the case. So they, they skirted even the law that let them get these phone records by omitting the key point of is this information relevant or is this a dragnet? Is this a fishing expedition? Which it obviously was, and which the Fourth Amendment was specifically written to prevent the government from engaging in. And yet they've done it, and nobody, if history tells us anything, nobody's going to be punished, and they're going to keep on doing it. If they've made it clear, they're going to keep on doing it. And the people just sit around with their hands under their legs Here. and say, oh, well, there are a lot of scandals now. This isn't just another scandal. This is a, a direct violation of the Constitution. Well, here's the thing. If they do not arrest and prosecute someone, and in that prosecution use evidence obtained from this 113 million person warrant, then nobody will be in a position to challenge it. No one will have standing. And if no one has standing to challenge it, they will do it again and again and again. Unless and until the American public gets sick and tired of it and elects a government that respects the Constitution.